Hello again fellow gamers and it's been a while, but then again there were no new exciting content for me to share with you until today. Yes, finally, after 14 long years, Red Dead Redemption finally arrives on PC. Now we can finally continue the story of John Marston in an orderly way some 4 years after the final mission in epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2. So in this video we will cover what happened before the events that are taking place in Red Dead Redemption, with John Marston being our main playable character, and we will do so briefly. Then we will cover original gameplay for Red Dead Redemption 1 before remastered edition for PS4 and PS5, and finally I will share with you my first impressions about PC release. So, let's cover the first part briefly. As most, if not all of you probably know, main character in Red Dead Redemption 2 is Arthur Morgan, while we play as Marston only in the epilogue of the events. Funny how Rockstar actually gave us Star Wars order of release titles, but it worked for me. So, the story of the second game, or the first if we talk orderly, ends with the death of our beloved character, Arthur Morgan. No matter which way you played, you can't change this fact. Mothers can, but I will only cover what the game was meant to play by developers. In this video, my ending was described as the happy ending, or at least the happiest there is, at least. Where Arthur helps John to escape pursuers and basically gives him a chance for a new beginning. But John Marston wouldn't be another beloved character of this world if he was the one to settle with daily chores at a farm. Actually, maybe he would settle, but uh, only if he didn't go to avenge his fallen brother and kill Micah Bell in the final fight of the game. Technically, John did shoot the last bullet, or quite a few last ones, but Dutch Wonderland was the one who actually made it possible, as you can see on screen right now. Another touching moment happens when you complete 100% of the game, a task that requires well over 100 hours, and you will see what happens shortly. Just about done, my friend. The outro and credits of Red Dead Redemption 2 will give you an idea what happened with John Marston and explain the events of the game we are covering in this video. Ridiculously long credits that I managed to cut short will show you that Pinkertons found Micah's corpse, then shortly after they were looking over John's farm called Beecher's Hope. The ending of the second game was done brilliantly where developers chose the perfect spot to show John and Abigail. If you played the first game ever before, you'll know what I mean. But in case you didn't, well, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Now, we will start with the new footage and the game that was remastered for PC. Right from the start, you will see that it's not match for Red Dead Redemption 2 graphically, but it doesn't really matter, for me at least, it is a very fine looking remaster. Everything I saw yesterday while playing was upscaled perfectly for higher resolutions. I've played my game on 2K monitor and it looked far better than expected, since I didn't have very high expectations after recent remasters of GTA Trilogy. Now, you can also see how the game looks when compared with the original one. I will not bother you that much with comparison, because what you see right now, the difference, is the same difference that will be visible throughout the entire game. So, Rockstar, very nice one guys, thank you for this remaster! And finally, even though comparing was a part of first impressions, and even though thanks to modders the game was available on PC, this was its official launch and it was worth the wait. Well, it is long overdue, but still it was a joy to play. It is how I imagined to play Red Dead way back when I played it for the first time on PS3. Now, I'm a terrible shooter with joypad and playing games like this is uh, quite a hassle for me and for a while it is, because uh, I need to manage to become decent enough not to get obliterated every time by the group of NPCs. Using mouse and keyboard for these sort of games allows me to enjoy them fully. Sure, it is always possible to get killed, but at least it was not down to inability to use your weapons properly. Ok, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but the fact is that it is just way easier to play shooters with your mouse being your aiming tool, instead of a little stick on the joypad. Sure, auto aim can compensate a bit, but that's not manual aim then. Besides, this aiming improvement in terms of enjoying the game more, I've found a few bugs which will probably be sorted soon enough with patches. For example, trying to record the game with Nvidia software made it freeze in certain situations. And also, running ahead of the mission with Bonnie early on made Bonnie be frozen and actually it made me start it all over again. But still, the game is very playable and looks like a remaster we deserved. 
Now, since this is the first overview of the game, I will not bother you any more with details. It is a very fine game. It is maybe debatable whether is it worth the money they're asking for, but for me it was. I'm very happy with the remaster and I will enjoy playing it, that's for certain. I'll be also back with playthrough of all the missions and side quests in the coming days and weeks. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the coming videos hopefully. Cheers!